We have that vacation nightmare we want to tell you about now. A Connecticut father heading back to the Caribbean where he is facing manslaughter charges after a deadly incident involving a hotel worker. He says he was just protecting his family. Amy is here with that story. And there's uh, new evidence that could affect this case? That's right. There is a new report out. It's, it's, it's going to shed some light on this case. Scott Hapgood says when a hotel worker pulled a knife and then demanded money from him, he had to fight back to save himself and his family. And yes, that toxicology report now is shedding a whole new light on the case. This American financier is fighting for his freedom after authorities say he killed a worker during a fight at a five-star Caribbean resort. 44-year-old Scott Hapgood of Connecticut was arrested in April while vacationing with his wife and children in Anguilla. He says 27-year-old hotel worker Kenny Mitchell showed up, claiming he needed to fix a broken sink. In a written account Hapgood provided to the New York Times, he claimed soon after he let Mitchell in, the worker pulled a knife on me, demanding my money and my wallet. Hapgood says during a hard struggle, he was stabbed and bitten by Mitchell several times. Hapgood telling the Times, I feared for my life as well as the lives of my daughters. Hapgood's daughters, who were in the room at the time, summoned help from the front desk, according to the Times. The paper interviewed one of the other hotel workers who told them he saw Hapgood straddling Mitchell and leaning on his neck and face and that Mitchell appeared to be struggling for air. Officials say Mitchell died of positional asphyxia and blunt force injuries. A toxicology report obtained by ABC News states that Mitchell had a blood alcohol level of 0.181, more than twice the U.S. legal limit, and he had cocaine in his system at the time of the incident. ABC News has not independently verified the report, and authorities in Anguilla would not confirm or deny the results. Hapgood's attorneys releasing a statement saying Scott Hapgood had no choice but to defend himself and his children from the frenzied attack of a man under the influence of a dangerous combination of illegal drugs and alcohol. Now, Hapgood has been out on bail and back in the United States, but he will be in Anguilla for the court hearing on Thursday. This case, as you might imagine, has rocked that small Caribbean island, and local authorities have been criticized for letting Hapgood travel back home while he awaits that hearing. We'll certainly know a little bit more later this week. A lot of eyes on that courtroom. Yes. Amy, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.